uh, Baroness, why don't you uh, share with us your, your views on how leaders like yourself uh, can play a role in changing the culture of institutions and society? Uh, what, what is, how, how do you see the roles of leaders in this fight against corruption? Well, firstly, can I say um, that this conference has been truly inspirational. For those of us who've been fighting corruption for a long time, I think we've been waiting for it. And so having something like this as a start, I, as you know, am Secretary General of the Commonwealth, which encompasses 53 countries from five different regions, North America, Caribbean, um, the Pacific, Africa, Asia and Europe. Those 53 countries have something in common. We share the same language. We also share the common law. And one of the opportunities we therefore have is to do just what the panel has described, and that is act together. Because if corruption is going to be defeated, it's quite clear it will take us all. I'm in my sixth week as being Secretary General, and yesterday we had the Commonwealth anti-corruption conference, and we made a number of commitments. The first is that I'm going to create an office of criminal and civil justice reform. And I intend to be a magpie. So every single good idea that has come out of the conference yesterday or the conference today, I hope that we can put into a toolkit for implementation and change. The second thing that I want to do is to create a standard, a Commonwealth standard of anti-corruption practice so that every entity, body, business who wishes to demonstrate that they are supporters of anti-corruption will be able to apply for a mark. I hope that what we'll then be able to do is this, no mark, no work, because we won't be demanding that everybody has it, but if you do want to demonstrate that you're a clean agency, it's an opportunity for us to work together. I do think it will take all of us working together to make a difference. Christine Lagarde was right when she says, people do not corrupt themselves. You need two to play. And I hope and look forward to working with Christine, with the World Bank, but hopefully with all of you to make sure that corruption is our past, but not our future. I think we can do this if we choose. We can either swim together or drown separately. So I hope we'll swim. Thank you, Baroness. Thank you very much.